And we're now going to combine some dry needling with electro stim. So I'm, for this technique, I'm going to be using this little tool here, the Pointer XL2. This is a technique or a tool that I use, I should say, that are, are quite a lot for electro stim with dry needling. Now for this particular presentation, I'll put two needles into glute med for, a, for the situation where you might have some synergistic dominance of the TFL muscle. So many clients that we see, we often see them with uh, that inactive or inhibited glute med for various different reasons and our synergist for the glute meat is the TFL. So it will fire up, it will get very, very tight. And yes, we need to do manual therapy treatment, we need to do stretching, we need to do all these other different things to try to decrease tone in TFL. Then we also need to treat the glute meat. Why was it inactive in the first place? It may have had trigger points, it may have been excessively fatigued, for whatever reason. But if we treat those trigger points with dry needling, we deactivate them. But if we couple that with some electro stim, we can start to fire up some of the motor units within that muscle to help not only with the deactivation of the trigger points but the reactivation of the muscle to get it firing well and start to decrease some of that dominance of the TFL. So I've put two needles here into glute med. I'm then going to use my pointer XL. We're going to touch the tip of this onto one needle and the little earthing pole onto the other needle to create a circuit and what you'll see then is the needle is kind of pulsing as that's the electrical circuit passes between the two points and helps to fire up that, that muscle tissue. And you can see muscle twitching there as it contracts. It's a great way to treat the trigger points but also reactivate that glute med to help improve the pathway for function. It's one of many ways that we can use electro stim with dry needling as part of our manual therapy treatments.